What's going on guys? Geos now right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about the Yellow Jailbreak websites that provide you the one year certificate for the IPAs. And we're going to talk whether they are uh, safe or not and what can happen if you try them. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about it. Well, you probably know that I have already made a video about the Zero Store thing that provided a um, one year certificate for yellow jailbreak and uh, in this video we discussed whether it's safe or not to use that particular method if you want you can check the video in the description down below because the uh, zero store thing is pretty popular right now on the internet a lot of websites started to promote it blindly so it would be interesting for you to to know about it but today we're going to talk about this method in here it says pgyr.com yellow jailbreak and we're going to discuss about whether it's safe or not and what can happen if you try the enterprise certificates. So in order to make things clear and in order to address some of your questions, I'm going to start explaining what happens when you're going to a website like this and install an application. Well, at first let's understand why these applications can be signed with one year certificate and your applications can only be signed with seven days. Now, Apple developer accounts can be in two different ways. You can be either a free developer account or you can be a normal uh, paid account that develops applications, but also you can be an enterprise. An enterprise being a company that, uh, I think the only difference in here is that the company itself has its own name on uh, submitting to the App Store, and the normal developer, the normal paid developer, has his own um, particular name on the App Store. For example, if my name is George Johnson, using a uh, paid certificate or using a paid Apple developer account, my name will be shown on the application's details, but if I use an enterprise certificate, the company name will be shown. Anyways, when you're trying to install Yalu from this particular website or this particular website and so on, or any other signing services for IPAs, you're going to download an, a Yalu jailbreak that was signed with an enterprise certificate. But when you're trying to use an enterprise certificate, you're actually giving some control from your device to the company owning the certificate. Usually enterprises are creating the certificates for their actual employees so that they can control the employee, the applications the employee is using, the applications the employee is deploying on the device and so on. So what can happen? Well, you risk a little bit of your security by trying these things because when you're trying to download this, you do not know what are you downloading. It says Yalu 102, but as you can see, if I click install application on a computer, it says, quote, for install application, please use the mobile browser to open this page or scan the QR code below. Now, this means that I'm not able to download the IPA and analyze it on the computer. And this means also that the, um, the person who put this IPA on the website can easily modify Yalu to make it a virus, to make it a malware related thing and to insert additional programs for controlling or sniffing your data or leaking your photos and so on. And you will not be able to analyze the IPA and you're not going to be able to see what has been changed because when you're going to go into the um, the mobile Safari and click install application, it will simply install and you will not be able to check the IPA. You cannot download it on a computer either, so they are somehow hidden. Uh, well, is this going to happen every time? Well, probably not. Probably uh, most of the times these websites are somehow safe, but it is always a risk that you're assuming. And there are better methods out here to install um, to install Yalu without computer. For example, I have made a video a couple of hours ago, 16 hours ago, on how to install um, Yalu jailbreak and sign it directly on the device without even using CD Impactor. And it actually works if you reboot. So it's pretty good. You're using your own Apple ID and password and you're not risking your security. So if you want to check that out and if you really need to have a no computer variant, then you can go ahead and check this video out it's in the description down below. But going back to this website, if you install these mobile provisioning profiles or certificates, as I said, you grant some of your security to that company. And installing a certificate from an unknown company will result in a lot of things that can happen. As I said, and as Luca Tedesco said a lot of times, the um, yellow jailbreak is very, very vulnerable to being, um, to being actually 
crafted into a malware, into a powerful virus for the iOS, because the source code is available online. You can download the source code and modify it and compile it and do any kind of modifications you want to the Yalu, then create an IPA and put it online. And if, if people cannot check what has changed to the IPA because you, you make them install it blindly, then you are able to infect a lot of computers well, better say it, a lot of devices, and nobody will know that. And do not take it for granted. When, when you're installing something that has a virus, the virus won't simply blow up your device in a second. Usually a lot of malware, um, what it's doing is actually staying in the background, uh, K-logging your, uh, your inputs in the, uh, in the keyboard, for example, your passwords, your email addresses, or, I don't know, taking your photos, linking them to a server, and so on. They're not just that visible for you to know, oh, god damn it, I have a virus. No, it's not like on the computer. So, usually it's very, very dangerous to go to websites that, pro that provide IPAs, especially jailbreaks. Now, this website providing IPAs self-signed for one year certificate might be a little bit safe if you're trying to install a game or another application that doesn't have any protection um, uh, breaking mechanisms like Yalu. But Yalu is a jailbreak. Once you install it, it breaks any kind of security that is present on the iOS and that prevents exactly these things from happening. So when you're installing this, it's like giving your enemy a lightsaber. It's going to make your life very, very bad, because if all these security mechanisms are disabled, if somehow the website from which you're getting the IPA has modified the Yalu in order to be a malware, then you're screwed. So, do not forget, there is always a better solution to this website, and I do not recommend them. Look at the Desco, the creator of this jailbreak, do not recommend them does not, sorry, recommend them. And uh, the better solution would be to use the Cydia extender. It was created by uh, by Sorik, the creator of Cydia, and it's of course something trusted. If you want to learn more about it, the link is in the description down below. You can do it without any computer, you no longer need a Mac to do so, so it would be pretty easy for you. But speaking about these websites, no, you should not try them, you should not fall for them. I know a lot of media is promoting them because, you know, they're making money out of it, you know, ads and IPA links and so on. They're breaking the news, but that's not good because a lot of people are trying these websites. They're based somewhere in China for some reason and go ahead and find the Chinese that, I don't know, infected your device. If you can, you can't. So better do not try these things on your device. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. I really hope I made things clear about this IPA stores that are present online, especially for Yalu. And till the next time, stay safe and peace out.